Uh, hi guys, uh, I have been told to leave the house uh, by Gail. Uh, that happens quite a bit, as a matter of fact. Um, and she's forced me to come down to Coles, not Woolworths. What happens is she needed something for me to pick up for dinner. I've got a webinar on at seven o'clock tonight, so therefore we'll probably be eating after that. So she said, look, can you duck down and get this, that and the other? Um, because she knows how good I am at shopping. She's gonna get upset when I come home with crunchy bars and <laughs> paddle pops and anything else but proper food. But anyway, I said, I'll, I'll duck down to Woolworths because where we live, we've got a Woolies and a Coles pretty close. And she said, no, you won't. And this is where she's forced me to come. Okay, you'll see there, there's a coal. Where is the Coles sign? There it is there. Okay, so there's the Coles sign. I've had to come to Coles. And the reason I've had to come to Coles, quite frankly, is because <laughs> she is collecting for our grandchildren, uh, who are, you know, all under five, uh, these little Coles books, these little mini books, treehouse books, I think they call themselves. And uh, the reason that I bring that up is because uh, if you have been hooked on one of these incentive programs at any time in your life, then you might like to attend our webinar this, uh, tonight. It's around about two hours time at seven o'clock. The link uh, is above me or below me here, and it's all about incentive-based marketing. So it's all about what Coles are doing at the moment. And you know what? I've got it on good authority because keep in mind, I used to be the... Uh, at the national advertising uh, position for Woolworths many thousands of years ago, but I still have some contacts there and Coles have beaten them to the punch this time around. You know how Woolworths had the little Oshies, I think they were called, silly little dolls? Um, well, guess what? They got caught with their pants down because Coles have launched this little book incentive. Now keep in mind, underline the word incentive. That's what distinguishes you or can distinguish you from someone else if you have a like product or service. So if you are a lawn mowing guy or you happen to be a, a, a fish shop, uh, a cafe, you happen to be an accountant, you happen to be whatever, it doesn't matter. If you've got a very similar product or service to the uh, competitor down the road and you keep on dropping your pants, in other words, your price, then he can match you or she can match you straight away. But if you have something like what Coles have got at the moment, and that is the free little books, I don't have anything in the car here to show you, but I'm sure that if you're a mum or a dad or a grandparent, you probably know what I'm talking about. Guess what? That distinguishes them from Woolworths. So when my wife says to me, look, you've got this webinar on at seven o'clock, we'd probably be eating dinner late tonight can you go down and get blah 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 uh, I say good I'll go to Woolworths she said no you won't you will go to Coles now you know and I know give or take a few items Coles and Woolworths are pretty much the same but because Coles have an incentive on at the moment guess what my wife tells me I've got to go to Coles now Woolworths apparently have been caught with their pants down so therefore they're launching very quickly I think it's next week sometime the new Oshi collectible program I thought it was Koshi from Channel 7 but I don't think anyone wants to collect Koshi Anyway, so therefore, if you have got a product or service whereby you're in a competitive marketplace and there are people who are making or giving the same service as you or making the same product or selling the same product, you want a Happy Meal toy. And that's why above here I put in the description, have you got a Happy Meal toy? And I keep on telling people we've got six children and they're in their 20s these days, so they're millennials. But at one stage we had six under 12 and we spent four gazillion dollars on Happy Meals and it had nothing at all to do with the hamburger. They threw the hamburger out. It was all about the toy. Uh, Kellogg's have been doing it for a thousand years, putting toys in the bottom of their box. Harvey Norman does two years interest free. That's what the incentive is for him to make him look different from any of the other furniture and homewares and white goods manufacturers. Um, Prime, Amazon Prime, they've been doing it whereby you get free shipping uh, and you also get uh, access to videos and you access to all sorts of things, okay? Because if you're a Prime member of Amazon, they, they give you lots of incentives. So there's a whole stack of them out there. Uh, back in my day when I was at Woolworths, I used to put together this stamp collection promotion. So anyone that's my vintage might remember used to collect stamps, put them on a saver sheet to get glassware and cookware for, for incredible prices. So if you are looking for a way to distinguish your business, particularly through this COVID situation, whereby everyone's dropping their pants, okay? Everyone, the first thing that they're doing uh, I don't hold seminars at the moment for obvious reasons, but we've been interviewed, I've been interviewed on a whole bunch of podcasts and, uh, and webinars that other people have got. And they say, what do you think the number one cardinal sin is at the moment? Well, guess what it is? It's people dropping prices because they just want to put food on the table. I understand that. Uh, in fact, you know, one of my um, associates works for a company who's just doing exactly that every day of the week at the moment. They said, look, normally we are the big ticket sort of provider of this particular service but as it turns out our bosses have told us just to get anything at the moment so we're dropping our price to get any job well i can understand the temptation to do that but you don't want to do that that's the last resort you don't want it to make it your first resort the first resort should be thinking about well what's a happy meal toy that i can provide to you know my prospects that'll make them buy my products or service you don't want to just drop your pants
and I'll show you how to do that tonight. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different samples, but there's one in particular tonight which I'll show you on this webinar, which is the number one uh, incentive in the world. And it's not just me, I've got statistics to show you that this is the number one giveaway that you can give with your products or service. Um, and it's been proven to be the most successful incentive in the world. And it will cost you in terms of buying that incentive around about less than 10%, sometimes less than 5% of whatever you're selling. And uh, I'll explain how that works later on tonight when you come to the webinar. Um, it won't be replayed. Uh, we're not going to replay this webinar. And the reason we don't is because then if you do that, then people don't come to the webinar in the first place. It's a bit silly uh, to be, you know, just replaying it. So if you'd like to learn about this incentive-based marketing, um, click the link above me or below me, wherever it is here. It's uh, tonight, 7 o'clock. It'll go for about an hour and we'll throw in some dad jokes just to, well, just to, to annoy you, okay? But there'll be a lot of good content. Okay, see you then.